Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 4 and in this tutorial we will talk about data display. And we will start from where we left over in tutorial 3. So in tutorial 3 we set up an S-parameter simulation and we ran the simulation and this data display page came up automatically. Now in order to plot data in data display, we have variety of plots. So let's start by inserting a rectangle of plot. And as soon as we click on data display, we have all the measurements which we can use to, to plot on this particular plot. So here, let's start with S21. We select the measurement, we click on add and select the units. To see the frequency response in terms of dB, we'll select dB. Click OK and now we have dB S21. Plotted. Similarly, if you want, we can add a new plot and select S11. However, it's not mandatory to have one separate graph for every measurement. We can plot multiple measurements on the same graph. For example, here, if I want to add S11 on the same graph, I can double click and I can select S11 also to be part of that same graph. Now here, you can see S11 and S21 plotted with different colors of traces and clearly indicating which measurement is what. Now, we can also insert a table plot and we can look at the data in a tabular fashion. So here, for example, I would like to see S21 and I would like to see S11 also in the same table. By selecting the table and readjusting the size of the table, we can see the magnitude and phase response of two measurements which we did. If you want to change the format of these plots, for example, I would like to see dB degrees, or sometime I may want to see real and imaginary, I could double click on the graph and select the measurement. By double click on the measurement, we could select the proper data format to be used. So for example, I will change it to dB degrees. So S21 becomes dB degrees, whereas S11 is still magnitude and angle, right? Now, if you want to have more plots while we can zoom out and we can keep inserting more and more plots on the same page, in ATS data display, it is also possible to have multiple pages. Like in Microsoft Excel, you can have multiple sheets organizing your work. To create new pages, you can click on page, new page, and give it a name. For example, I would like to give it a name called Smith chart, uh, which signifies I would like to you know, put a Smith chart plots here. I can select the Smith chart from here and click on my data display. And usually we plot our S11 and S22 on a Smith chart. So by selecting that particular measurement, I can go ahead and plot a Smith chart. So in this case, I will insert two Smith charts on this page. Now to move around pages, we can either click on these tabs at the bottom of data display, pretty much like how, as I said in Excel, or I can also enable these toolbars. So like ADS is schematic, you could right click anywhere on your toolbar area, and you can select the various options which we want to see the icons for. Uh, for a common uh, you know, work, we definitely would like to have marker palette, which gives you access to different kind of markers as well as the page icon so that we can easily scroll through. So these are the two buttons allowing you to go left or right in a circular fashion. Now, sometime when we plot table and we want to scroll through the table, we also would like to enable the data scroll, uh, which is basically this toolbar here. So for example, if you look at this table, I could only see results from 10 megahertz to 137 megahertz while I'm sweeping till 500 megahertz. So where is the data? So by selecting the table, you, you can see this option gets highlighted and you can move it one line by one line in this table or you can move scroll by one page. One page meaning the, the height of the table or you can directly go to the end of the table and same way you can come back to the, to the beginning of the table and so on. So this option here allows you to have a scrolling between the different you know, pages of the table. Now, a lot of time we need to place markers on our plots to, to read out the data at a specific frequency. So there are a variety of marker plots available here. So we can use a normal marker by clicking on this marker, it says select a trace. And now we can click on the trace, not the graph, but on the trace where we would like to place the marker. So this standard marker gets placed on a particular trace. 
If you want to do multiple readouts at the same time, for example, at a specific X axis value, I would like to read both S11 and S21 data. Then we can insert this line marker. By selecting line marker and clicking on the trace, you can notice it cuts across that particular X axis value and you can read both of these things together. Now to move the marker, you can simply pick this triangle um, you know, uh, icon of marker and you can move around to whatever point you want. Or you could simply type in the frequency by clicking here. If that frequency exists in the plot uh, or in your sweep value, it will take you to that point, else it will take you to the nearest possible point. Like in this case, you can see 150 megahertz was not available, so it took me to 152. So that's your five minutes for data display tutorial. Have a good time designing your circuits. Thanks a lot for watching.